Mike, I, we don't use closing prices. I don't know what it's going to, since it trades all the time. So uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's closing or not. It is below, but I defended you earlier because nobody knows. Uh, you said around 40. Do you still think that we're near uh, a, a place where uh, Bitcoin stabilizes, at least? What, what, just give you us know, your update. Listen, both on the charts and in, it felt like we had capitulation this morning. Uh, you never know. The, the one thing that's clear is a lot more people own crypto, uh, right? It, it, crypto had seeped into pockets all over uh, our society. And you had a confluence of events, combination of tax day, Elon Musk tweets, whatnot, where you started breaking down the positivity and the price action. And now we've got a liquidation event. And you know, Humpty Dumpty never gets put back together in two days when it cracks, when he cracks. Uh, it's going to take a while. The market will consolidate. It'll find a bottom somewhere. I'm hoping it's close to here. Uh, 36,000 now, maybe, you know, 38,000. It did feel like capitulation this morning. You know, Ethereum, you know, 2,600, 2,400. We're pretty close. They've had big, big sell offs with huge volume. Um, and then, but it's not going to bounce right back. It'll consolidate for a while. The story hasn't gone anywhere, right? The, this crypto revolution is happening. Um, but, you know, these are certainly setbacks for the, for the wallet <laughs> uh, and, you know, for, for the investor base, right? People lost a lot of money, and so uh, they'll dust themselves off. Well, we'll see. Uh, some people are tweeting it's because uh, you stopped wearing those bizarre sweaters and uh, the Elton John sun, you know, glasses, <laughs> and it, it, that, that was the top. I don't, know whether, I don't know what you look like right now. Hopefully you're wearing something. But, um, but, but you're on the phone. Do you, um, do you, do you I've heard a narrative that China wants to promote Bitcoin to destabilize the dollar. That's a, a Kyle Bass uh, sort of a narrative. And, and now we're hearing China is no friend of, of Bitcoin. Do you, that, that is the most recent data point that people are pointing to for why we're seeing this weakness today. What do you make of, of China's recent uh, comments? Listen, I think China is very focused on their own central bank issued digital currency. Uh, they want to, you know, have people trade with the digital RMB. And so I don't think they're going to smash blockchain because they're, they're kind of a pro blockchain country, but they want to control things. And so a lot of countries would rather have, you know, they don't mind Bitcoin being used as digital gold, but they don't want it used as a payment currency. Uh, Bitcoin's not used as a payment currency. And that's, all, that's often a myth. But I think you've got to watch China very carefully with their with their digital RMB. It's a geopolitical play. Uh, the U.S. has got to to get on the on the move quickly. I think to to keep up um, because pretty soon you're going to have everyone in the Middle East and Africa and South America, you know, being offered uh, you know to transact in in digital RMB, which will probably be relatively stable. Right, the RMB is a pretty strong currency right now. With the weakness of the dollar, people like being long the RMB anyway. Right. And so I think uh, it's certainly a geopolitical move. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.